Welcome everybody to Command Combat Computer Reports. Today we have Napoleon Total War and we have a pretty interesting uh, different kind of video. Oh, I actually have some of the players here. We've got Ed who played the French over here and uh, he's got... Here, go ahead and say hi there, Ed. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I think it looks like I had um, I think just some basic French units and I know I, I used a couple of old guards and I always like to use at least a couple of old guards to secure flanks or as reinforcements. Let's see if we, let's see, we, did you see the old guards in there? Oh, here we go, here's old guard. Uh, and, yeah, two, two of them in the, you know, in the back there so they don't get shot up. And then you have some guys back. Or is there known on the streets, day old bread. Day old bread. Oh, we also have Jamie with us as well. And we have Polish guard, uh, the cavalry in the back behind this. In fact, did we both play French? Because I think this is my forces here. So we both played French. Because I got, uh, yeah, I, oh, you know what it was? I was playing artillery and cavalry, and right. you were playing infantry. It's a civil war! <laughs> well, we're not going to go <laughs> against each other. Oh, oh. <laughs> and then we got Derek over here, and I love how, you know, because it's my point of view, we look, yeah, this is Derek's whole forces. It's his commander. He, yeah. I'm that good. <laughs> <laughs> I am that good. And we, which one is you, Derek? The guy with the fancy mustache. Yeah, there, of course. It's proper. <laughs> Yes, exactly. All right, so that's that's him. Uh, actually, his forces are somewhere hidden there in the woods, but, you know, we'll say he's just a ninja. Uh, and then over here we got Frank's, and uh, Derek, you know what Frank's strategy was here? Uh, I told him not to die. Okay. Uh, make us win. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's a pretty good strategy. Really good strategy. I think he was mostly uh, cavalry. And you can see Oh, yeah, 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 a lot of horses. A lot of... It smells like shit. <laughs> <laughs> we have... Uh, and you can see that it's a heavy cavalry by the uh, filled in. You know, when it's filled in, it's, uh, it's heavy. When it's uh, outlined, it's, it's light. Uh, but he had a little bit of infantry there. Um, which will come into play. And then, yeah, I guess that's, that's the whole side there. It's raining on and off here. Um, I guess Is that's, it El Nino? It, it's not quite El Nino because it's going in and out. El Nino will just kind of keep on going. Let's go ahead and play this and then see. Now, there may be some times I fast forward just because there were a lot of times where we were uh, jockeying for position, but I do know over here, Derek, you might just need to interrupt me every now and then because yeah. I may not know what you guys were doing. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> Story of life. I, you know, I don't know that Frank quite knew, but... Uh, well, I know that I was moving, I think I was moving the infantry, yeah, I was moving them up a bit. And uh, there was like a river or a fjord there, and we were trying to just get kind of like a front line position. Uh, and I think we didn't realize, and it was kind of obvious that we could just use that hill as a as a last point of defense. Yeah, I remember you kind of got way out there, and I was kind of sitting back here, just kind of going, "Well, all right, I'll just let him go up there and get killed." Um, and then I think what happened here is I just sort of sat there and had my guns pointed out there. And for the most part, I think I was just shooting at Derek. Yeah, I, yeah. I just wanted to pick on you. <laughs> yeah, you felt no, no, it. I, I felt it. I, I definitely felt the guns. <laughs> Let's see what it's like from your point of view. Because I don't think I could reach Frank. I think I was trying to hit his, his horses. but. Right. Well, this is all we could see anyway. So that's why I think I figured my, might as well just move up a bit and try to secure some sort of, sort of a line. Yeah, and then, let's see, Frank is moving his cavalry over here. But I think what happened... He got over here and saw that you... Because if he goes straight after the guns here... Because, of course, well, I have that perfect position on that hill with the guns. Oh, of course you do. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so he's like, all right, maybe I can just go straight at them. Of course, then you put your infantry there. If he goes straight at them now, he has to get tied up with you, and I'll just, you know, smash him with guns. So, or we'll smash him with the artillery. So, while you're setting up, I'm just kind of sitting there... And this is sort of the way it is for a while, although I think I started to move this... You know what happened? Okay, here's what it is. I was sitting there shooting, you were setting up the infantry, right. uh, Frank was sort of jockeying for position, and so we just sat there for a while until I started moving this light infantry uh, up here against yeah, Derek. Yeah, and I think we kept that light infantry in the back just to, you know, hide some of our cards. Oh, here we go. I had some guys... No? Okay. I was looking the wrong direction. Nice building. Yeah. Oh, that is really sweet. Now, I'm not sure, uh, quite sure where this is. A little Russia? Out of place. That's an orthodox oh, thing. Oh, it's Borodino. That's right. Oh, is it? Okay. It's what? Borodino. That's the map. Mm. Where is that at? Do you know? 
Russia. Russia. Oh, okay, somewhere <laughs> in Russia. Okay. So we got the French, the British, and the Austrians fighting in Russia. Actually, it looks like a Russian building. So. Yeah. It's a neat. Kind of racist. <laughs> this it a looks like a <laughs> Russian <laughs> building. What does that mean? <laughs> it means that it means it's got the little thingy. Gobble, the, 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 uh, yeah, the like round, but then the yeah. top, and then yeah. you get confused, and you're like, wait, shouldn't that fall over? And it doesn't, and then you feel really bad because you kind of want it to. And right. Wait, what? What are we talking about? I, I have no idea. I All think right. I think it was teardrops. Okay. Lovely teardrops. Okay, so I think my infantry at this point was secure, or not secure, they were set up. Oh yeah, we're getting... Our, no, I'm moving them again. I think what you're going to find a lot is that there was a lot of shifting of the infantry. I was doing a lot of clicking. Yep. Based on what I was seeing them doing as they were kind of advancing. And you can see up there, this is what... Fr and Frank is, is reacting. And this is a lot of the game, is you shift over here, Frank goes over here, or, you know, you shifting, and then Frank reacting, and you shifting. And basically, I think, but what you both, yep, and now you're shifting over there to guard against the uh, his cavalry. Right. And it's kind of one of those things of, it's like, okay, well, what do we want to, uh, you know... I mean, to me, my theory on, on battles is that it's basically about shifting, getting yourself in a position, and then strike, and then the rest of the battle is based on the, you know, you've committed your forces... Maybe there will be a second wave, but for the most part, it's shift into position and then fighting. And I think that's what what people it describes like sex. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the reason his brain went there is it's that unfortunate shape of the pointer. Nah, yes, exactly. We come back to uh, here. Penis with one testicle. <laughs> 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 now who's now who's being the racist? Is that the Russians have one testicle. I I'd say they were Russians. I don't know why you brought that up. I think the we're that Putin. about the pointer, dude. Oh, this pointer? This yeah. The mouse pointer. Oh, the I thought you pointer. were talking about the building. Okay. No, what? <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm like, what? Yeah. Oh, and I think this is where I may have been falling back because your art the enemy artillery started coming in. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Derek had some artillery because there, yeah. you can see it back there in the distance, and Frank is moving some infantry yeah, up here. Pretty accurate. But yeah, yeah, his ar your artillery, Derek, was like super. Did you actually get? Do you happen to remember if you put any? Um, I don't think so. All right, but yeah, they were. Possible. Don't remember. They were insanely good. I remember they were hitting my guys like, uh, yeah. I mean, in fact, you might have already hit them. Let's take a quick look here. Uh, it doesn't look like yet, but you you knocked one of my things. I don't remember you knocked the gun out or the horses. Jamie will hate you for that, but I mean, you yep. hit something that was like a really super good shot. Ah, here we go. Yeah, and they're already, yeah. And now my light cavalry, because of the fact that I was getting annoyed by your artillery, I started moving my light cavalry over there going, I don't see anybody else over there. I'm just going to count on the fact that Derek doesn't know how to build an army, and so I'm going to go and run over and take, over, take out his gun. I think you actually outgunned us. You had more artillery pieces on the field than us. We did, uh, because you bought infantry and artillery. Yeah, and I only probably brought in one or two batteries. Yeah. That's pretty much it. And I, especially knowing that the French are very good with artillery, I went, you know, mostly artillery. Um, and I put in a little bit of cavalry, as you can see over there. In fact, that might be my only cavalry. Maybe I had one more, but... Uh, and my cavalry was not very good. I mean, it was, you know, I went ran around. Sometimes I'll, I will actually do that. I'll get... I'm telling all my secrets to you guys for my, our future games. But anyway, sometimes what I will do is I will actually get the lamest cavalry because of the fact that sometimes when you move them, people will react to them. Um, and I don't actually intend to do anything with them. I don't intend to fight with them. I just intend to sort of shift them around and make them react and move around. In case in point, what Frank's doing over here, he keeps moving his cavalry. Now his right. cavalry is actually really good, but he's causing you to react, of well, course. Yeah, and I was spending probably a good part of the time reacting just to his cavalry, because uh, while you were took up most of the um, uh, artillery, you, you know, you bought artillery pieces, and left our line a little thin, so mm -hmm. depending on what Frank did to uh, move around his, his cavalry, I would have to shift the uh, infantry back. So you're seeing them now. I'm, I'm going up the hill right there. Yeah, you know, actually, the one thing I would have recommended to uh, you, Derek, of course, I wasn't... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and there's an example of your great artillery. It was really hitting these guys. Although you did seem outnumbered, so maybe you did. You probably did spend some point on that artillery because they were really good, but you did seem outnumbered. Yeah, yeah, we felt like there was uh, overwhelming force on the field. And you had the high ground, 
uh, I think, if I recall correctly, is we were trying to lure you out by using uh, Frank's cavalry to screen some of our movements, my infantry movement, and making you react to his uh, moving to your flanks. Well, now, you say infantry movement. Where was your infantry? Was uh, all in the tree lines. Okay. And, um... So he's not really screening. He's more just distra- trying to get us to look that way. Well, at first, that was what was going to happen. But oh, okay. we uh, decided, because there was a glitch on our error, apparently, that uh, the timer was running out, and the uh-huh. game was about to end, so we had to do something quickly. Oh! So, uh, he used... I think he used his cavalry and went yep. around the hill mm-hmm. and tried it to assault it uphill which is not a good idea under normal circumstances right. but uh you know we play the cards we're handed you know and we're we were kind of pushed for time yeah so we had to force that yeah and it looks like you're moving up a bit yeah it looks like the cavalry is moving yep yeah his cavalry is moving around this side while meanwhile my cavalry now to compare let's see he's got uh two heavies one light and his commander over there and i'm I'm going to try to attack uh, Derek with this one light. And like I say, probably the lamest of all. What kind is it? French Hussars. Right. I think they're, yeah, kind of lame guys. And So I'm like charging in. In fact, you can see I actually have them running up to these woods. And this is one thing I actually found kind of fun. I like how the flag guy's way behind. So it's like dragging along. But this happens about the same time that Frank does his thing over there. So we'll right. see that. But Well, the only thing you can really hope for, because it's this fog of war, is that it you know, causes some sort of a distraction. Well, in particular, yeah, now I'm going after it thinking, okay, you know, I don't expect to quite get it, but I'm like, hey, if he doesn't have anything here, screw it, I'm going to take it. Hopefully maybe he doesn't notice it. Uh, but then all of a sudden he's going to reappear here in a, in a second. And I'll go over to Frank, because that Frank thing happened just after it. I've watched this before. Well, come on. I swear it happens at some point here. <laughs> there we go. All of a sudden now, all of his guys appear. Oh, and they're just like, oh, I was like, abort, 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 sometime, please. There we go. Get out of there. Meanwhile, Frank's guys, now, he is now moving up around this hill, which actually is a pretty good move because one thing that happens when it's raining is the gunpowder gets wet and the shooting is not as effective. So... Okay. Yeah, and I think just as that happened, that's when I started pulling up the infantry... Uh, yeah, to the top of the hill. Yeah. So he and I don't know if he could see it from this point, but uh, the plan was just to pop up on the side. Yeah, just on the sides up there. Oh, meanwhile, yeah, I put my cavalry over here to try to sort of plug this hole. But he's got heavy, or heavy calves, so it's like, I wasn't quite sure what was going to happen. But, oh, my one chance I figured, okay, if I get him in the river while he's still crossing the river, then I'm going to, uh, you know stop him and of course my guys waited or of course I waited until he's out of the river right. oh but he saw it coming so he's like alright we're getting out of here I think the plan was not to necessarily engage you oh if we had the, you know if it came to that if we could avoid it we try to avoid it but I guess he got caught in it so he was just gonna invest you know whatever he had available that's funny cause I actually oh there's two guys didn't get the memo that I was supposed to retreat I didn't want this fight either. It was because those two guys kept charging. And I was trying to pull them out. And apparently Frank's trying to pull them out. And the guys are like, screw both of you. We're going to stay here and fight. And They're he, manly men. They're manly men. Men, 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 men. A lot of fights. I don't want to fight. And now he gets the better of me. I'm running away. Yeah, I think what happened, Frank saw that my uh, status bar was going down. He's like, all right, I'm but going. This was, I think this is really good fighting on both sides. Because you know, we didn't throw everything into one particular fight. There were some skirmishes that occurred before there was any big fighting going on. Yeah, to be honest with you, one of the reasons I want to do this one is because this is actually one of my favorite battles, just because, now in some ways for some people watching it might be a little bit boring because it's like, you know, there's a lot of waiting, but I like that. I like the the intellectual kind of figuring, uh, kind of figuring out what to do. It, yeah. Instead of it being just, oh, we're going to just run in and shoot each other, it's like, 
Okay, try this. Eh, it didn't work. Pull out. Right. Okay, we're gonna try this. Nah, no, pull out. I mean, I think he uh, he left just in time because I got the infantry on the bridge that would have been able to shoot down. Mm -hmm. They're shooting a little bit there, but they're they're well out of range. Yeah, and of course, again with the rain, it's not gonna be quite as effective. Which, that's one thing. When it comes to rain like this, a lot of times in black powder games, you can't, you want to try to advance because of the fact. I mean, you certainly don't want to advance in the face of the guns. You're gonna get taken down. But uh, you definitely want things to be as much in hand-to-hand -hand as possible because of the fact that the uh, shooting is going to be less effective. So far, we've taken about equal damage because you can see right there. That's the uh, you know ours is red, theirs is blue. Um, Actually, Jeff, it looks kind of like you're losing. Oh, that's true. We are losing are a little losing? bit. We're losing. Oh, slightly, yeah. Yeah. So Frank got the better of us. Ah, uh, Frank. All right. Yeah, and it looked like he had to attack there because the cavalry can't really reach on that other side. Yeah, it's there or here, and of course you were already here. By the way, I just want to show you, Derek, this mm. was the effectiveness of your artillery. Oh, that's pretty good. And in fact, oh, that's what it was. I've seen this before. You hit no people. Oh, no, actually, you must have hit some people, but I think what it was, I think you hit the people at a different point. Mm -hmm. You just perfectly hit the gun because there's like no, people still standing no. there. Not that good. <laughs> Going, what the fuck? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what happened? Right, I like this is one guy kind of looking around the other direction like, um, what happened? Smarty, I told you that stuff gives you gas. You shouldn't keep eating it. <laughs> Sorry. General, general, general. <laughs> all right, this point, though, this might be where we've all kind of backed off from each other. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's Ed is getting himself set back up over here. But now we're going to kind of be staring at each other for a while, so I'm actually going to skip forward a bit. Oh, you guys, and you're staring deep into each other's forces. Yeah, it was beautiful. <laughs> now Ed's going to move <laughs> some... Oh, this is where, yeah, Ed, you kind of figure out, you're like, hey, we have a hill here. <laughs> right, you know, it just, it made sense. I mean, it's a very, it seemed very fundamental to just kind of go back to the hill. Yeah, although, you know, I think it was smart of you to be by the river because of the fact that gives you a place to pull back to. Yeah. Meanwhile, I like how um, way back there in the corner, Derek, uh, Frank has given you a an infantry unit. We're not attacking it or anything, but he's like, oh, it was because that light cavalry came out of there. And so he's mm. just like, and that's the reason I get cheap light cavalry, because they're because of that, because it causes people, I didn't have to fight them. It just caused them to move them back instead of bringing them forward. But I think you were just out of range with the artillery, so you started bringing it forward. Yeah, I think that was the case. I think I got a little too cocky there. I, I, I moved it and I forgot to escort it with infantry. Oh, that's right! They started moving forward, like, mm -hmm. really far. Uh, and then what's going on? Oh, I guess the artillery's shooting over here. This is one thing I remember Frank mentioning about this, that, yeah, you can see one guy and his horse dead there. Sorry, honey. You guys suck. In fact, I don't think the guy... I think it's just the horse. No, there's yeah, the guy. There's someone underneath Yep, him. he's been squashed. Oh, right under him. <laughs> oh, man, that's... That's what you get. That's what you get when you bring a horse into battle like you should not do. It's not like the movies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I remember Frank being like, you just were pounding me with your artillery. And no, that's not what she said. Actually, though... It, it is, you know, we, we are down one cannon, we only had three, so... Oh, know. wow, actually, I did not know this. Yeah. Until, until now, <laughs> I did not know. <laughs> okay, oh, uh, just another example of men, your communication skills. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you think I wanted to admit to him that I was lacking artillery, that I was lacking in firepower? Well, it's like, I knew you were behind me, so it's like, okay, he's behind me, I know he's just taking care of business. Yeah. This is a safe <laughs> space, okay? You guys can be honest here. <laughs> I don't want to be honest. <laughs> I don't want to tell him, hey, everything's good, stay there and protect us. Oh, okay. Now we're yeah. Now we're just sitting there firing up it. But we actually were never able to hit you. You, you guys were uh, like ninjas with your artillery. They're moving up there. Oh, you actually yeah. You got yourself placed now. That's a actually that's a really good spot to fire from. In in a lot of ways, the way that we played this for both sides, it was like a really long game of chess. Yeah. That's why I really, like I say... People I, who don't know how to play chess, playing chess. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it seemed like a very sweet... Oh, wait, my serenity is going to be killed. There it goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice scene in a meadow. Push! 
Yeah, actually, it, it like this is the <laughs> uh, you saying it's a nice scene on meadow, and then boom, and all the guys go, yeah, it's a nice scene in meadow. <laughs> all right, so. Let's zoom forward again, because we're going to stare at each other, and the rain starts again. That's another thing I kind of liked about this, the fact that it's it's not raining the whole game. It's like there's rain part of the time, and then not rain there. Whatever happened to my cavalry, anyway? Did I just bring it back and just bring it over here? I think so. Last I saw him, you left him in the forest. Yeah. Next to your keys. Oh, next to my keys? Yeah. Well, now I'm never going to find them. <laughs> Is it the keys to my horse? Yeah, how do you start your horse? Oh, he's got back there. There we go. Yeah, now I put some of these guys back here just to, for that, but then I put some of them over here, and I specifically wanted them to be behind the hill because what I wanted to do, I was hoping Frank would think that I was empty again. He'd come running here, and then I'd get them from two directions. Yeah. But then he did something clever. We'll see. I don't want to ruin it here, but uh, he does something a little bit more clever than I expected. Darn Frank being clever and stuff. Yeah, Frank's... Uh Player, he's always got something up his sleeve. Yeah. I, I've, in any game I've ever seen, he always does that. Well, I originally met him. He was playing cavalry in a Civil War game. And actually, the first time we met, the very first game we played, he, we were both on the side of this. These guys were being way overly cautious. And he decided, he's like, he just knew that I was really aggressive. He came up to me. He's like, hey, I'm thinking about swinging around them. Can you hit them with their infantry from the front? And I'll get them from the rear. I was like, yeah. And everybody was criticizing us, and we ended up winning it. Hmm. But that's the thing. That's what, you know, Frank's the kind of person who will think of this sort of maneuver. And now we can start to see it happening. I really like this uh, terrain as well. You notice the, the river kind of ends over here, so he goes way over the side. Now, he has no idea that oh, I remember. my cavalry was waiting right here, that I have this little trap set up. Now, I saw it. It was going on. Right? But, you know, he has no idea, but he just figured it out and went over right. way around the side. But I see it coming. So I shift the light cavalry over here and get them ready. But, of course, I know I'm way outgunned. I mean, look at that. He's got a whole huge cavalry force. I've just got a little bit of light cavalry. So I'm just kind of hoping that maybe I can slow him down if he's doing what I think he's doing. And you can see on the big map as well here. In fact, let's actually expand it a little bit. Um, let's see. He's this force, this, these blue guys right here. This is the Austrians who have been A glorious back. victory, sir, yeah. is soon to be yours. Well, he was smart. I mean, he, he, even if when he was going that far out, his cavalry pretty much dominated the field. If I wanted to go forward and attack Derek's force out in that forest, all he'd have to do is just send the cavalry to stop him. Yep. So he, at, at this point, he, he pretty much you know, dominated the field. Yeah. Although now he... Well, I was about to say he kind of made a mistake, but not really. I'd oh. have to say... This oh my doesn't god. look very good for you. Oh, that's right. Oh my god, the blue. You know, it's really crazy. I remember Wait, this. I thought too. the blue was you. No, the blue, red is us. Because see red up here? Oh, okay. I'll yeah, it's back. Not, oh, now jump back. I wonder why. Whoa. I wonder how it's measured. Yeah, that. that game was glitchy. It was saying we were running out of time. We we're about to lose the game. Yeah, which is like. Yeah, and we, we had to force our hand. And look at this. Too light against. I mean, I feel like the Empire is about to come down on us. It's only two to five. Come on. <laughs> and two lights versus the five heavy. And the difference is that heavy is just, you know, it's much, much more powerful. What, you brought your knife to a gunfight? Pretty much. Poor Jeff. That really, actually, you know what's funny? In a way, in this particular case, I did bring my gun to a knife fight. But in this particular case, this is a case where the knives are going to win. Mm, okay. It's, it's weird, but yeah, yeah cavalry is just, cavalry is just not as good with guns as they are with uh, swords. And so when you've got armored guys with swords, they're going to come running in, and they're just going to go faster than the guns can reload. They're going to smack us. Now, I was hoping okay, on... So he doesn't see you here? Not yet. Now, my idea was to just distract him and then run. And I'm like, okay, now run. Run. Oh, my gosh. Run. Get out of there. Run. Someone get... did not get the memo. Now, here they're walking. That's <laughs> the thing. I, I meant to have them order, order them run, but when, when you oh. first click in, in yeah, Napoleon... It's a bit of a delay. Well, you say, and then he stopped. <laughs> he hadn't, he didn't know I was there, oh, so wow. he, yeah. <laughs> so he hadn't ordered. So here I was thinking, I'm getting. And so my guys are just like arrogantly oh trotting away. What? Where are they going? He could, he, he could. Oh my gosh. Yeah, one guy. Now I ordered them to run away, but that was actually the computer going. Oh, the, they're they're close enough. He automatically charges. So now I'm now I'm getting run over. Here I had I had, had this great luck to be able to get away, yeah. but now these guys are getting. <laughs> oh, 
But yeah, when it's it's not even so much a delay. When you first click to move in Napoleon Total War, it automates on walk, not run. You have to actually order oh, them to run. Right, right. I forgot to push the button to run. Yeah. Well, why don't you just double click on the right, uh, the, the right mouse button for the for oh, charge and you run. You can double click and it runs. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I didn't know that. <laughs> you don't know a lot of things. <laughs> I don't. That's the reason why these guys are getting killed right now. Why are you commissioned in an army? <laughs> They're all, you know what? I forgot to take that lesson of, uh, in Napoleon school of double click. Napoleon school in like downtown Paris? <laughs> yes. On, exactly. on top of like what? Like some restaurant? <laughs> yes. Isn't that Hollywood Boulevard? <laughs> School, like the New York Academy of Los Angeles. That's right. Have you seen it? That? That's ridiculous. The New York Academy of Napoleon School. Oh, oh, oh nice. <laughs> and there we go. That's that's it. That's a pity. I screwed that one well, up. Well, this was exactly what he wanted because you know, well, as we're defending that hill, it's, that's very hard to do on a you know a frontal attack like that. So what he wants to do is get in you know piecemeal. Yeah, although one thing that that did that was uh, positive for us, it slowed him down and gave us enough time to get ourselves to... F you now you can see I put the artillery pointing the other direction. And that actually happened because uh, he had gotten slowed down. And then you have all this infantry yeah, over here. Yeah, that infantry's been there for a while. Oh, has it? Yeah. Well, give me an excuse for, for why these people died. I want a good excuse. Because they all have an, a thing on their tombstone saying, F you, Jeff! <laughs> you got us all killed. I think there's a consensus that it was your fault. It pretty much was. Now we're firing here. Now here, there, this is something that I didn't understand, Derek. Why at this point did you not attack? Or am I, I just rubbing it in? <laughs> don't recall. Oh, okay. Because yeah, this was one thing uh, Ed and I were afraid. Of. We thought that you were going to come to this point. Like I uh, hit it from the other side, and we were like, "Oh crap! What are we going to do? How are we going to defend?" And we brought the uh, cavalry around here. I think I was on the march, and I moved my guns way too far ahead. Yeah, that was definitely true. So you actually did have your infantry moving? I we just think can't see so. It? Okay. I think so, and they're, they're still behind in the woods, kind of slowly moving up. Oh, yeah, there is a lot of underbrush here, so that's probably it. We just thought you were lazy. We thought you were sitting back laughing at Frank. <laughs> well, it's not to say I'm not lazy. <laughs> So yeah, I moved the guys here. I, my whole thing now is like slow them down as much as possible because the, unfortunately for you guys, the only way up this hill is up this thing. It was a little bit of un this is an unfair map because it really it gives this one side this great hill that you can't get in. Because so, Frank did, you know, he's like, all right, he came all the way around the back. This is fantastic. He's in our rear, but now there's no way to get up here through our rear. Uh, yeah. No sexual yeah. Yeah. Seriously, man. <laughs> No way through the oh, rear. Oh, there you go. Look, the, the artillery is going after the cavalry. Yep. And, and that's... And he's exposed, so he's got to get out of there. And that's the thing. He expected there to be, like, some way up there. And when there wasn't, they had to start moving around. And now they're run, They're just walking across the artillery as it's, as it's pounding them. Okay, you've really got to learn better words phrasing. and all these phrasing. innuendos. Yes, better phrasing. They're pounding the horses, baby. Uh, Pounding him hard. You may send all comments to <laughs> Jeff at Jeff MacArthur is an asshat dot com. I actually need to to like create that as a <laughs> as a website. So. Oh wait, okay. So why did you pull the cavalry back? Me? Oh, oh. Well, you know what? I knew I couldn't beat him. So okay, but my, there would have been bottleneck there, and I could have shifted over the oh, uh, you know what it was? The infantry over there. Here was the reason why it was because here you're gonna see it in a second. Um, cavalry standing still are not very effective. So I pulled okay. them back so I could charge at them in the bottleneck. Oh, There's I a see. charge bonus. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I think I'm going to do it here. I hope I'm going to do Let's it see. here. I'm Unless pretty I'm sure you do. Let's see. Oh, hey, well, we I'm just started. I'm we, pretty sure you're going to do it. He was afraid of our horse's any asses. Minute, you're going to do <laughs> well, it. Well, that unit got, what, grape shot in the face? And did it? Well, it was, turned the corner? it was kind of funny, though, is like they didn't do it right away. It was like they got hit, and they turned around, and they came around the corner and saw our horse's asses. Oh, wow. And they all went, Jeff forgot there was an ass head, and ran away. I thought it was synchronized horse riding. Oh, yeah, that too. So he has what he has left. He's got two heavies, one light. Oh, I think I'm the, uh, the infantry. Oh, they're, uh, up top. they're up top, the infantry. Uh, yeah, here we go. I, I shifted them over because I knew he was down there. And I had to run as fast as I could. Yeah. And start shooting down. Yeah, I think it was trying to 
catch you off guard and swing around and hit that unit going up. Yep. Probably, if he can break through, yeah. I think we would have taken it. We would have rolled over that hill. And this is all we have. This hill was we the whole the whole game for us. So if you had taken the hill, problem is he didn't have any support, unfortunately. Yeah, my, my units didn't get there fast enough. Yeah. Um, oh, we have... Oh, there's our, our, our cavalry that I was wondering about. I don't know where they've been. <laughs> Following your orders. Uh, my orders? I don't know. <laughs> Why were they doing that? Oh, there was the... a glitch here. Something happened where his cavalry couldn't get it. Didn't go up. Like, didn't come in. Oh, yeah. caught in the back of the arrows. Oh, wow. Oh, and and then, uh, yeah, see, so there was yeah. like a chunk of his Sir, cavalry that didn't go Sir, in. Sir, our general is under attack. Yeah, oh, and they're attacking our general. Oh, my general. That's me in there. Oh, boy. What am I doing attacking him? And also, I love how these guys, the ones without the uh, artillery, are still standing there, just over their artillery. <laughs> it's like, we will not let you have the pieces! <laughs> also standing there. Yeah, yeah, that's true. There is some kind of path in there. That's unfortunate, because other than that, it's a really cool battle, but I didn't like that uh, you guys weren't, you know, having a fair shot. Oh, and there's that light cavalry is going after Frank himself. Oh, he's coming down to protect himself. But there's that, that one light cavalry that's been like in the missing guys. And this is sort of everything. Here. This is kind of the whole fight with Frank. Meanwhile, here, while that's going on, let's take a look to see if the... Uh, oh, here comes the Austrian infantry. Slowly marching. You guys just go ahead. <laughs> we'll get we this. have killed their general, sir. Oh, Frank's now down. They must break. So he's in there somewhere. I love how the French even shot French. So they just shout like it. <laughs> yeah. Pew! Still, still fighting. <laughs> hey, when it's French, it's okay. Story <laughs> of my life. <laughs> oh, I caught this one guy. He's trying to try to get out of there, but some of these guys were stuck. And there they go. So he basically, what he has, oh, he's coming back here to kind of break out and hit these guys. I think at this point he's probably uh, given up on the hill. Yeah, he has one cavalry left. And there they go. Yeah, I think that was it. He had the one cavalry, but he also had that one infantry that he had sent to you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so one got away. Yep, well, there's this one infantry, remember, that was over here that... Oh, oh, one cavalry, yeah, one cavalry got away. Sorry, I thought you were talking about the infantry, right. One heavy, but there's only how many guys there? One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So our infantry knew that that fight was over, and that's why the wind went to go. can see uh, Derek's force coming. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, okay, the infantry battle is about to begin. Let's see. This is kind of a gang up on, De you know, Derek's it, the only commentator from the side here, and it's all of us just ganging up on Derek, just like in the game. Oh, and that, yeah, that, that cavalry of Franks that got away is, uh, that's going to play a big part here. But now, okay, so it's just going to be a bunch of marching here for a while. Let's fast forward. <laughs> it's Benny Hill. God, that's what I was thinking right now. And we... You know, naked women, or... Very... <laughs> <laughs> I can get naked for you. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen war and I don't want to go back. <laughs> you now know my terror. <laughs> war is hell. <laughs> so is Jeff naked. <laughs> oh. Happy on my tombstone. <laughs> war is hell and Jeff. Fought a good battle. In the end, you lost. <laughs> Well, yeah, I should. So, how, how are you, uh, Derek, setting up your infantry line? Uh, I had grenadiers 
they had shorter range, but they could dish out a lot more punishment and take it as well. So I think at this point, we knew we weren't going to win this battle. Um, I, I think we we're just trying to... I used a light infantry, move up to draw you in. They have the, oh, the range. Oh, yeah, the light. Yep, these guys. Range, um, any normal line infantry. Right. So, <coughs> excuse me. Oh. Try to pick them off and slowly pull them back until the main grenadier line uh, could engage. Yeah, but I remember there was a mistake that you made here that I, I exploited. Okay, yeah, yeah you there got was yourself. a problem here. There's something I, I screwed up. Well, here you went up here, and this is, this is part is good. You disappeared from my view because remember this is our point of view. But notice this is your point of view, and and Ed has really helped me learn this from other games because I've made this mistake too. This is your point of view. You can't see my guys. You needed to be just a little further, like right up, or you couldn't see Ed's guys. You need to be up like this so you could shoot at them. Mm -hmm. But they were just far enough back that they couldn't they couldn't see. And after a while of maneuvering, I figured that out, and you're going to see what I did. Oh, this was interesting, too. I moved, we, we moved our cavalry over here, and Frank moved his over here, because he, we both knew we, he, we knew he wanted to come around and flank us here, and he knew we wanted to come around and flank us there. So you have the cavalry staring each other down over here. Well, I think also when uh, we lost his cavalry, we lost our eyes on the field. Yeah. You know? Yep. Um, he was moving around. He could spot things. Um, there was a trouble spot. He could, he could quickly go and try to patch it up. So once once that cavalry was gone, we lost a uh, pretty potent um, ability to counter any of your movements. Here's something that's interesting, though. It's actually still even as much as we beat a lot of his guys. We have two lights. He's got one heavy. That's actually even. So it's actually still you. You guys are still somewhat in the game here. I, there's, you know, I mean, you, yes, you've lost a lot, but well, we lost our guns though. Yeah, yeah. We oh, have no you, guns. No, your artillery's gone. Yeah. How'd that happen? I think that happened. Oh. Uh, in -game. Yeah, off camera. I yeah. forgot it was over here while we were doing other things. Your right. artillery went up too far, and the cavalry. Yeah. That cavalry, I, I lost track of. Ran up there and took it. Now over here. Yeah, you could be hitting us from a distance, but I think the, that they just can't... Oh, you, you moved them forward, I think. So now I you think I was trying to hit the artillery crossing the, the ford, the river ford. Yep. Or fording the river, I should say. Yeah. Either way, yeah. I mean, it's, it is a ford, so... All right. So let's uh, zoom it on forward here. Zoom it on forward. That's up. That, okay, that artillery is yours, right? That's a pretty bold move to move in oh. front of the infantry. Wait, artillery? Where? Oh, yours. Oh, was I? Yeah, oh, yes. Right there. You know what? I forgot. <laughs> I moved them, and then they just kept going. Yeah, here comes the cavalry trying to get the uh, infantry there. And I think Frank, did he counter? Because I was trying to keep some cohesion, and I, I think I saw you guys moving, but oh. I thought... And Frank, Frank saw me try, you know, going after oh, his, okay. his uh, skirmisher, so he comes at me with his heavy cav. Doesn't quite engage, but then I bring my like. Oh, but three of my guys just stopped. Like, screw you! We are going to stuff you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> they just ran right they wanted to die. <laughs> Yeah, they're just like, we are not going to retreat. We are going to. <laughs> no, actually, Jeff, yeah, they say. Red Rover, Red Rover, send that guy out. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to chase him down. Set my commander in there. Oh wow! That was when I finished his cavalry off. All right. So now I had what I like to refer to as air superiority. It's not actually air superiority, but I, I you know, once the cavalry is gone, it's kind of like having air superiority. Now you have access to just jumping around and hitting. Rubber. Oh, I missed the. Yeah, this is what happened with the artillery. I just kept moving them forward because I forgot. I had clicked like way up here. That's the thing is. Sometimes in the game Seems you just like click. A good spot. Yeah, and so I'm like charging. <laughs> I'm like right in front of the enemy. <laughs> in front of one of his riflemen. I like charging with their artillery. It's like go get him. All right. So now I start harassing with my uh, cavalry up there. Oh yeah, I start going again at your uh, riflemen. And run a few, a few of them. 
This is one of those places where I might be losing my cab, but it was like worth it to me to get rid of your rifleman. Oh, but yeah, no, okay, not that worth it, because once you had your regular infantry up there, I'm like, all right. Okay, does anyone else feel like rifleman just sounds a lot like it? Rifleman. Oh, yeah. Rifleman. We're gonna go, here's, over here's John Rifleman. <laughs> <laughs> How does that sound Jewish? Maybe the man at the end? Yeah, the man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're going, we're going after every ethnicity in this video. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. Who have we not even put in there yet? Let's go. <laughs> Game time. I don't think we've gotten after the Swedes yet. But that's not really race, that's just the nationality. Alright. So now you're gonna, yeah, you're starting okay, to... so they have, they have visual... And start training again. Okay. But yeah, that was another, that was one of the main reasons I want to get rid of the rifles, was because I knew that was your visual, because I knew you wanted to stay down below where we couldn't hit you with artillery, but you were using your rifles to, riflemen, to oh. um, kind of watch where we were. So I was like, okay, if we can take out those riflemen, he won't, you know, we'll take out his eyes. So I was kind of trying to do the, the classic Mo maneuver, you know, where you go like, you know, with the two fingers. Mm -hmm. and, right. But you kept doing the curly. You kept putting your hands up there. And I, so I, you do the overhand hammer to my head. And oh! And then you hit me in the stomach. But, but you know, I, I didn't have my heavy cab, though. All right, so now let's uh, zoom forward again. So I think, I think you set up a really good position there because that was not a... A terrain feature that I that I saw, but you, it looked like you spotted it quickly to give you some cover because it looks like I probably have a little more than you. Now here was one thing: once we got in there, now because riflemen was really great about riflemen usually is they can outrange the regular infantry, but once we got in there close enough, now you don't you know you really have to be in the same range and you know uh, and we can shoot back at you or maybe not. You know what else is really great about Rifleman? What's that? He doesn't shy away when it's his turn to buy a round. Uh, <laughs> you know, like Goodman or Goblin <laughs> or... But he does owe me five bucks somehow. Everybody owes me five bucks, except for Derek. I owe, I owe him five bucks. Oh, here's one guy. I love this. Okay, so I've ordered the, the cavalry to go over there, and there's like one guy. Like, I'm gonna go get ya! his flag? I think. Or is he part of that group? Yeah, I guess it's this group, but the flag doesn't know exactly where to go, because they're kind of all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> Four guys left. This is how <laughs> pathetic our cavalry was. Just like only a few guys left. I mean, this battle, this is again, one of the reasons, I know it's long, but one of the reasons I love this battle is just, it was such a cluster. Alright, well here come the French, and I forget where I have the rear guard. I think I've got them on both flanks. Oh, let's see. All right, here. Uh, Fusiliers of a line. Fusiliers of a line. Colonial battalion. Oh, you, oh, you the old guard. Oh, Maybe there's the, right the guard. old guard. Oh, there we go. Okay, I've got, yeah, I've got them as reinforcements. Old guard in the rear, as always. I think what I do is I move them on the right side, kind of like a hammer, hammer to anvil. I think that's what I did. See, oh, yeah, wow. that's what's going on. Getting close to this action here. Yeah, the idea was just to, to hold the line right here, just keep keep them locked, and then the, the old guard will just move in on the on the flank. Meanwhile, I was sending the uh, cavalry around there. How about you, Derek? What was your thinking here? Well, since you're engaging, we had to try to stay out of uh, either howitzers oh. or your direct line of sight for your artillery. I don't remember. And so we were on the uh, the other side of the hill, but since you crested, um, I think I was starting to commit units. But I didn't want to commit everything yet. Right, that makes sense. Alright, so we yeah, here we are, so we're just basically line against line, and you can see the cavalry is going around there, and this is where it was like, it wound up being so great that you had Frank from the beginning there. Remember, he went over there way at the beginning, and now is the saving grace because He's protecting your rear as the cavalry's coming around. I remember that was a big pain in my butt. Yeah. So I was trying to get you in the rear. Oh, I, was <laughs> I was trying to be your butt buddy. Oh, hey, and, and they... Well, and, you guys were suffering back there. Yeah, in fact, they retreated. Some, some of them actually retreated. 
It was just one volley. Oh, I, wow. I, I think I came up over that hill not expecting Frank yeah. to be there, and then phew, got wiped. Got knocked that out. That was a good position. You knew just where to be. Yeah. At this point, I, I don't think we had any illusions of winning. We just wanted to make it bleed. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way guys play with each other. <laughs> we just want to make you bleed. Okay, so yeah, now I backed off the cavalry and Frank's like, alright, let's go around this side. Yeah, he's gotta plug that hole right there. See, it's hard to talk about battles without doing sexual <laughs> innuendos. It really is. <laughs> we'll keep them coming all night. <laughs> no! Oh! Okay, now here's where you're bringing the old guard. Well, no. Keep thinking the... And now the old guard. No. Where's that old guard? Oh, here they are. Yeah, old guard. I was old. just trying to get on the side as much as I could up against the water there. Yeah. They're called the old guard for a reason. Yeah. All, they're all old guys who can barely walk. And Anyway, st I'm still on fast forward just because it's like, alright, let's get through. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't move them in. I mean, I'd maybe... Hmm. Oh, I think, yeah, they're working. There oh, go. and also we have the cavalry now going in on the rear. Oh, this was fine. I, I was going in with my uh, general to go after your general. And I was like, oh wait, nope, never mind, get out of here. Oh, and we got hurt. I think all that's left of that, that general's guard is just the general, but yeah, now here comes the light cavalry. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Yeah, Derek, I just killed you. <laughs> and that was it, just a surgical strike to get the commander, because of course that'll damage the morale of everyone. Now even if I lose them, it's like, well, they did their job. And I think at that point it was like, no, I'm not even bother with my cavalry anymore because they did everything they needed to do. So, except for the make you turn around sometimes. And look at that, yeah, that just made your morale go way down. Ooh, wow! What was that? You still have artillery? Not oh, mine. grenades! I bet it was your grenier, grenadiers. I didn't order them for grenades. Really? They was friendly sure fire? Your guns okay. Maybe. It's a little bit far for grenades. Yeah, it is actually. Here, here you go, Ed. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> no, I did more damage to you than, than Derek did. <laughs> All right. So I think it's gonna end here real soon. Oh, I like this guy over here on the left. He's like some. <laughs> oh, that was a very dramatic death. Yeah, that's a little much. <laughs> <laughs> think he was faking it? I think so. Damn, if you're gonna die, you just drop, okay? <laughs> I think this is like your last guy. Well, I think Frank might have been the last one. I think his, his uh, what are they anyway? Uh, foot guards. Uh, they're not like the best in the world, but. Sounds like a Dr. Scholl's, like, foot guard. You're a fantastic. It's a foot guard. You're a foot ass tank. Oh my god. Alright, there's your. This is probably what you're thinking is now your, your right guard. Not right guard. Old guard. Although they are on the right flank, so I'm going to call you your right guard right now. Oh, I like it. You're starting to move them to the, the area, and they're like, screw that. Yes, the last people left for Frank's guys. The, the, the British infantry. All right. They're going to give this good showing for us. Stiff upper lip. Yep. All right, guys. If we survive, we have to do the nutcracker. Oh, let's die. The rest of this battle shall be done to the music of the Nutcracker. We'll have to send uh, royalties. But it'll be totally what's, worth it. What's he doing? Cause he's yeah, that's true. Oh, oh! oh. oh. The, 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 the light cavalry does it again. Yep. There's three guys going, we're not going to retro- oh, yeah. uh, And that should be the end of the battle here. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yep. So, deployed, let's see. I only had 69 people deployed. Wow. Oh, but this was done on small, so we could right. accommodate everybody. 
But uh, yeah, that was pretty. Um, that was pretty intense. Was what do you guys think? Fight. It was a good fight. It was a good fight. Good fun fight. Yeah, I'd, I'd say the good early portion was just kind of moving positions, you know, jockeying for position, and and then just suddenly striking. And um, yeah. What do you think, hun? I think this episode is brought to you by Foot Doctors because your foot has stank. <laughs> Dr. Schultz, come on, get straight. And Whatever. right guard. <laughs> well, that'll do it for us here. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch our many videos. Happy gaming, everybody.